Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate how to use the wipe discard wipe method when disinfecting your treatment rooms. After the patient leaves, we need to get the room safe and ready for use on the next patient. To do that, we will use an intermediate level disinfectant. There are a bunch of different options on the market. Cabby wipes is a popular option. This happens to be a individual pouch. There's one towel in each pouch. Most often you'll find these in canisters like Clorox wipes. You pull it from the top of the canister. Make sure when you're disinfecting your treatment rooms that you are using an intermediate level disinfectant. That means that it has a tuberculocidal claim. This particular chemical is your quaternary ammonium compound with alcohol. Quats alone are not tuberculocidal, so they have to be combined with alcohol to be effective. The surfaces that we will clean. If it's between patients, we are going to disinfect any surface that was not covered with a barrier and came in contact with either our contaminated exam gloves or may have been contaminated by spatter or aerosols. If it's the end of the day, we're going to disinfect everything, even items that did have barriers on them. This is called the wipe discard wipe technique because we take one wipe, wipe all of our surfaces that need to be cleaned, throw it out, and then use a second wipe. Open up your towelette. Sometimes that's challenging with these utility gloves. As with any cleaning procedure, make sure you are wearing all of your PPE as well as these utility gloves. Open up your towelette, makes it easier to clean your surfaces and start wiping this first towelette. cleans the surfaces. So this cleaning process removes the bio burden from the surface. It removes the saliva, the filling fragments, the droplets of blood or other contaminants. If this is the end of the day, typically we do barrier these, but again, end of the day, we have to clean everything. Take the items out of the holster, wipe the holster down, wipe the item as well as the hose. Hang it back up. Get around the levers here and the buttons. Go part way down your hose. Get the holster, hang it back up. Go around the entire room, cleaning all surfaces with this towelette. When you get to the assistant stool and the operator stool, don't forget your paddles on the side. A lot of times we're touching these throughout a procedure to fine tune our positioning. Operatory lights, disinfect the handles, the switches. Even if they had a barrier, if this is end of the day, we disinfect everything. Patient chair also. Control buttons on the side of the chair. Continue to go through and wipe down all surfaces, all clinical contact surfaces. When you're done with that first towelette, throw it away and take a new one. This is where a lot of dental offices fall behind on their disinfection procedures. I know a lot of offices may only use one towelette. The first towelette only cleans. The second towelette now that the surface is free of bio burden, it will lay down a layer of disinfectant chemicals. 
go through all the same surfaces that you disinfected previously. Now for video purposes, I'm not getting everything. Um, I didn't get the curing light or the amalgamator. But when I say everything, I mean everything as far as clinical contact surfaces goes. So you go through and you just re-wipe everything that you wiped in the first step. This disinfecting chemical, this quat with alcohol, it needs to stay wet on the surface for one minute in order for it to kill microorganisms. So it is much faster than Birex. Again, it's a different chemical. So keep that in mind when your office chooses the disinfectants that you use. Once your room has been disinfected, you're ready to set it up for the next patient. If it's the end of the day, you can continue on with your end of day procedures. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful.